So I'm about to turn 40 years old. My brother's like, we should do something. We should go somewhere. What do you want to do? Well, for my 30th birthday, we came down to the beautiful Florida Keys. I was like, I want to do that again. So I'm standing at this beautiful marina in Ala Mirada, and we're going to be spending a week here doing a bunch of fishing and jet skiing. and celebrating my 40th birthday. Now we flew in here on a Monday and the following day was a Tuesday. We took fishing vessel Miss Almorada. It's a party boat. You pay like 95 bucks and you go out for a full day of fishing at the reefs and you do some bottom fishing and we caught all kinds of different species of fish. Some we didn't know that even existed, but you're mainly targeting yellowtail snapper. Oh yeah. Get some Chris. Pelicans are distracted. There you go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Chris got dinner. Ha -ha. Chris, you got dinner. There you go. Fast Looks like boys. a good one. Okay. Look at it. Look at it. I got a mark. I got, I got the marker. Nice. <laughs> we ended up catching a bunch of porgy. I caught a really nice red grouper. I think it was like mid 20s. Beautiful fish. It was an absolutely beautiful day. We caught a handful of blue runners. It's got another something on here. Another blue runner. Blue runner. Fun. Now, the blue runners aren't that great to eat, so we threw them back. But uh, we ended up filling a trash can. The entire boat filled a trash can full of yellowtail snapper, porgy, mangrove snapper, and a few other things. Since we weren't really videotaping that trip, I just wanted to more or less make a video of telling you guys what we're doing. We're going to be down here. We're going to be doing some backcountry fishing. Fish on! Watch out, Max. Huh? Watch out. Fish on. Got something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. We're gonna be going offshore one day. This is what you wanted. You wanted to go offshore, buddy. <laughs> oh, it's, it, it's pulling out, huh? We're probably gonna try fishing from the shore. Actually, that's what we're doing today. Oh, sh that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, baby. Stay on there. Let me land something today. What is it? It's big. But uh, we're going to go right into a catching cook on our yellowtail snapper and our porgy. We're going to grill them up, make some tacos. Here's our little setup. We got a nice little picnic table, a gas grill. This is the Sunset Inn in Isla Mirada. Over here, nice little heated saltwater pool. Our room's right over there, so it's Boop, jump the fence. They close the pool at 10 o'clock. We don't jump the fence. We play by the rules, but let's make some tacos. So that's the yellowtail. We ate most of that the first couple days we were here. We have a bunch of porgy that we're gonna grill up. We're gonna throw them in the bag. Put a little olive oil on there. Yeah, buddy. Get the olive oil all over the fishies. Coat it nicely. And then we got this McCormick's mojito lime marinade mix. Put a little bit of that on there. It's a beautiful blend when you mix that with the Baja citrus. I mean, this is the best stuff for fish on a grill. Yeah, it's hard, buddy. It's hard to try anything different. And, and <laughs> what works. I did this once with striper, and we've done it with all our grilled fish ever since. Mix it all up. It's amazing on snake to have a little mango salsa. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. What do we got over here? Pineapple salsa. That'll work. So this little contraption's not needed, but it makes things a lot easier if you have fish that's skinned and all that good stuff. It's a lot easier to turn them once they're cooked. Yeah, to flip them around so they don't fall apart. And he picked this up at the uh, local Bass Pro Shop, Worldwide Sportsman. It was about 10 bucks. You know, we'll leave it for the next next people so they don't need to buy one. Yeah, buddy. So if you guys come here and see this and that spatula and the tongs over there, you're welcome. We're leaving them here for you. Close her up. And it's just throwing her on the old grill. Wish we had charcoal, but beggars can't be choosers. Gas will work just fine. Ooh, baby. Oh, they already sizzling. See you later. All right, been a few minutes. Take a little peek. And this is the convenience of this guy. Flip him. Don't have to worry about anything falling apart. Yummy. Pretty simple meal so far. Give these guys another flip. Oh, they're looking good. So they're almost done. I'm going to throw some tortillas on there. Get them nice and crispy and heated up. Well, that's all that's all the cooking you got to do so simple 
melt a little cheese on your tortillas as well. There we go. Let's do it. Dinner time. I got some more lunch today. Ooh, buddy. Should have got some spray. That okay. would probably have been okay. Let's make a taco. We got a piece of fish. Actually, let's see what the porky tastes like all by itself. Tastes like a delicious saltwater fish. Put some of that on there. You got some uh, Tabasco Chipotle smoked. A little bit of that. Grab an avocado. I mean, you can put anything on here you like, but we decided not to do lettuce. So with that salsa, a little sour cream, a little dollop of that. And that's fish taco. What's what's going on with your taco? <laughs> I'm hungry. You went you went you full burrito. <laughs> Oh, nice and crispy. Oh, yeah. If you crisp up your tortillas, it goes a long way. So many people just pull right out of the package. Brilliant man here. Yeah. Heat it up, make it a little crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm. It sort of turns it into like a hybrid, soft and hard shell. Amazing. Nothing like island tacos. There's a lot of great places to eat down here, but I think this is one of my favorite meals for the trip. Yes. We, we've had this a few times. You know, you catch a trash can full of fish and you got food for the rest of the week. Mmm. Mmm. Well, look at that. We're going to enjoy the rest of our evening. And we're going to eat a whole lot of fish tacos. We're still going to hook up the yellowtail snapper, which is out of this world amazing. But porgy, just as good. All good. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, God bless. Catch them up, cook them up. <laughs> I don't know why he wanted me to record. He's like, if he's, he might be getting naughty in there. I'm like, once you see it, you can't unsee it.